But tonight's sunset, absolutely beautiful. A spectacular holiday weekend so far, and the warm conditions continue. Coming up in just about eight minutes, I'm tracking a cool down heading our way and when we might see some rain chances. Has made landfall on the Bahamas, and this is something we will continue to track, but we do have our own situation to track here in southern Nevada. An excessive heat warning is still in place. It has been continuously extended through the week. Leah Pazzetti joining us live in studio now to share more about this big temperature drop. Leah. Yeah, well, we got a warm up a little bit more so we can get to that drop, but temperatures are going to start to warm over the next couple of days. Current temperatures right now, we do see this low pressure system is situated over Southern California. You see the way that moisture is circulating here in Southern Nevada. That rain is moving through the valley as we speak. We're looking at a high of 103 degrees here in Las Vegas. That is right on track with our seasonal norm. We'll see some 90s popping up, but for the most part, triple digits will dominate tomorrow. Good thing though, lower 100s. It's nothing we can't handle. Las Vegas looking at 92 degrees, but what if I said this low of 62? It's going to be closer to our highs later this week. That's right, more than 20 degrees of cooling heading our way. I'll tell you when and talk about a little bit about the winds picking up as well. Coming up in just a bit. How long we're going to deal with all of this? Yeah, the worst is over, but we're not quite done yet. We have a couple more hours of this rain that we're going to be tracking. Taking a look at our satellite and radar right now, we see this system. It has hit Southern California. It's hit Southern Nevada. It's hit Arizona. It is a mess out there and we've talked about those road closures. I want to show you why you can see if you're traveling the 15, 40, 95, 93, all of those roads are right under where that rain and even snow is falling. And so that's what's creating that mess on the roads and it's going to continue until about midnight tonight. Now we do have a couple watches and warnings in place. We do have a flash flood watch. Those are for all these green areas. So parts of Southern California, parts of Arizona, Kingman, Lake Havasu City um, are tracking that potential for a flash floods. We also have this winter weather advisory. That's all of these purple areas, and that's because of that snow that we just showed you uh, falling in many different areas. So for Clark County, the winter weather advisory extends into the Spring Mountains, Mount Potosi. We're talking the potential for five to ten inches of snow above 4,000 feet um, at the end of this system. Once it's cleared, that'll be total amounts, and that this watch does end at 4 a.m. Friday, so tomorrow morning is when this ends. So tonight is really the bad night to be trapped. Traveling tomorrow is going to be a little bit better and into the weekend is going to be much better. Uh, so we can see from our future cast 8 p.m. tonight. We're still seeing that rain falling. A lot of it is staying down to our south. We're on the very northern end of this system, but it's definitely making its way into southern Nevada. You see that snow that's falling over the Spring Mountains down to our south once again over that 15. Uh, so definitely a mess out there on the roads about midnight tonight. That this is what we're going to be seeing. So definitely still going to see that rain, especially down to our south, uh, maybe Boulder. City Henderson seeing some rain tonight at midnight, but after midnight, that's when we should be clearing. We can see by 8 a.m. tomorrow we should be nice and clear. Uh, the worst will be over. Driving conditions should be much better tomorrow morning. Temperatures are staying cool and they stayed cool today. So right now we're sitting at 43 degrees in Las Vegas and Boulder City. Pahrumps at 44, Henderson at 41 degrees right now, Laughlin at 50 degrees. Heading into tomorrow, we're going to be a little bit warmer. We're back into those 50s. Today we saw a high of 46 degrees in Las Vegas. Tomorrow we're looking at 53 degrees. We will see some 40s on the board, upper 40s. Summerlin and Blue Diamond looking at 48 degrees. Mount Charleston just above freezing. 33 degrees is your high for tomorrow. Uh, but those mid to upper 50s for a majority of the valley. North Las Vegas looking at 52. Las Vegas 53 degrees. Henderson 56 degrees for tomorrow. And then the weekend stays calm. That's the good news. After tonight, the worst should be over. Saturday, Sunday will stay in those lower 50s. But we're not quite done. 2019 has one more system. It's bringing Monday. We are tracking more rain chances and even possibly some snow chances. We're not thinking snowmen in Las Vegas, but maybe some snow flurries falling early Monday morning. Temperatures staying cool that day, only getting up to 50 degrees for our high on Monday. Then for New Year's Eve Tuesday, we clear on out 52 degrees. So that's the good news. If you have any New Year's Eve plans, it's going to be clear, which shouldn't be any rain. But temperatures are going to be cool. Look at that low for Tuesday night. 36 degrees is our low, so bundle on up. Then we start 2020 on a quiet note. All right, Leah, thank you.